क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन सेज लेट एस बी द सम पी द प्रोडक्ट एंड आर द सम ऑफ रेसी प्रोकल्स ऑफ एन टर्म्स ऑफ इन जी पी ओके ए आर ए आर स्क्वायर कामर डॉट 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 ए आर पावर एन माइनस वन इज द जी पी लेट दिस इज द जी पी then it, the person says s be the sum of this gp therefore s is equal to a plus ar plus ar square plus dot 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 a r power n minus 1 which is implies s is equal to a r power n minus 1 upon r minus 1 that's one thing p the product p a a r a r square dot 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 a r power n minus 1 what is that a a a power 1 is multiplied n times so this is a power n r power 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 plus n minus 1 so this is sum of first n minus 1 natural numbers this a power n is okay r power this becomes n minus 1 times n minus 1 plus 1 n upon 2 sum of first n natural numbers is n n plus 1 by 2 sum of first n minus 1 natural numbers will be n minus 1 into n minus 1 plus 1 upon 2 that's what you will get what about the next thing What is that? P the product and R the sum of reciprocals. What is that? One upon a. R power n minus one. This is what you have. What is this? This is again a geometric progression. First term is one upon a. Common ratio is one upon r. So one minus one upon r raised to power number of terms upon one minus one upon r. This is what you have. Can I simplify this further? Yes. One upon a is okay. This is one minus one upon r power n, which is r power n minus one upon r power n. This is r minus one upon r, r minus one upon r. This is what you get. Capital R is this. And we are supposed to prove p square times r power n is equal to s power n. So LHS is equal to p square times r power n. What is that? P squared, which is a power two n, r power n n minus one by two squared will be this. R power n. What is r power n? R power n is this. One upon a power n, r power n minus one power n upon r power two n, r power n upon r minus one power. Just a minute. R power n. Power n is what we are interested in, right? So that will not be r power two n. This is not r plus n, n plus n. This is r power n power n. First of all, right? And this is r power n. This is this, right? That's what we are getting. Okay. And what does this become after this? <coughs> you see, a power two n, a power n will get cancelled to give you r a power n. Okay. R power n into n is n square minus R power minus n basically. So this is R power n power n, which is R power n square upon R power n into this is already taken care of. R power n minus one power n is something which we are interested in. R power n power n is something which will get cancelled, and what remains is R power n upon this. So this again gets cancelled. Yes or no? Yes. Power n, power n, power n can come out common. A times r power n minus one upon r minus one, and whole power n is what we are interested in. What is this equal to? Is this equal to this power n? Yes. And is that the RHS? Yes. So that's the complete proof of this expression here, as you can see over. Is that all? Yes, that's all that you have in this question.